Good morning, Estacado High School. My name is Mark Bealy, Director of Fine Arts for the Skeen Independent School District, welcoming you to our Westerner Music Festival here today at Larry Field. I'm looking forward to your performance. Uh, you're on the field and ready to go. Looking across the field, I'm looking at um, some spacing at the back and make sure that we're um, exactly in between um, the hash mark, I mean, between the yard lines. Right off the 45 to the 50 side one, we need to be a little bit over to your left. Okay. Drum major, Dominique Carter. You may begin your performance. And then there's some the spacing Western issues on the 30, but I think those are probably people that are not here today. So hopefully we can maintain that spacing. Okay, good luck today. As you're marching across here, toes should be rolling up to down. We've got kind of a plodding step right there from the 40 to the 42 and a half. We need to check the uh, tuning of our little quartet that was playing there. I could hear you, which is a good thing. Um, I'm not sure that you're being amplified, but I could hear it. But our tuning was not as good as it can be to start the show. Okay, good initiation of the step. And pretty good movement, left to right. Okay, person going to the 45 side one, you got there about two counts early. Yeah, and then tuba going to the 45, you got there one step early, and then you take another step. So be careful that you're using all the right number of counts. Okay, again, 30, 30 side one, got there one step late. Band does a good job of initiating steps. Good job with the turnaround there. Yeah, the bottom of our rotation there, it's getting there ahead of the um, top of the rotation. Friday, our stare and cover down in our form there. Barry Sachs, you're behind the line. Now you're adjusting, good. Again, if you find yourself hitting your, your side to side spot early and then you start marching straight towards the audience, that means that you're taking too big a step um, and that your angle's a little wrong, okay? Okay, percussion, you're in the front here. You want to you want to back off a little bit while the band's playing so that we can balance better. Everybody's looking left and right. I appreciate that. Try to do that peripherally, though, without turning your head. All the hats were pointing in different directions there. Yeah, bass drums, it's just a little heavy with you guys being in front like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, percussion is just a little too loud. Um, battery percussion is a little too loud. Uh, as far as the band's overall playing, we just want to make sure that we're balanced all the way through, so that we can hear all the parts. Uh, we're really losing our middle voices. And we need to tune that. As we crescendo, we need to make sure that we keep the same um, tone quality Okay, and the same pitch. Can't let the tone spread. There's nice moments here. As we move slowly though, we tend to kind of weave back and forth and our shoulders aren't really forward to the front. The trick to marching slow is to hold that back foot back just a little bit longer. Good form in terms of alignment. Um, our our um, spacing is pretty good here. We're holding the holes for the people that are not here. That's good. 
If you want to get real critical with your alignment here, right off the 50 side two saxophone player, you need to be off of the line a little bit farther. Okay, the, the second saxophone in next to the tuba. Okay, just to make that spacing across the field look more uniform. Color guy, I appreciate the fact that you guys are up front and working here. Again, our shoulders as we're marching around need to be a lot more flat to the front. Okay. As you're going across, especially with your horn down, you should be able to do that. Twist the waist, get that sternum pointed forward. Hard to hear the woodwinds there. You might want to get them a little closer to the sideline or some kind of amplica amplification. Okay, good job with Pitt, trying to keep up with the band there. Make sure you're listening back all the time. Yeah, our upper trumpets, uh, we're still having some tuning issues. Shoulders there, clean edge coming across. Balance is much better here, percussion while you're back there, that's good. Oh, careful of your tone quality there, too, as you come in. Okay, I know you're wanting a big sound, but we don't want to. We don't want to uh, sound unlike a tuba. Check the third on that chord for tuning. Yeah, we're, we're just trying to play really loud there, thin, and it's affecting our tuning a little bit. Okay, some good energy in the show. Um, you're doing some good things with um, your feet, um, the, the shoulders, the upper body is some more concern to me than anything else right now. Um, uh, continue to work with um, your upper body as you do your fundamentals. Uh, in terms of your playing, um, balance, check out the balance and percussion in the ballad. Um, make sure that you're, um, you're playing with good energy the whole time, but not overdoing it and making a, a bad sound when we're trying to play too loud. Check your tuning um, s several spots during the show. Okay, uh, some good energy in the show. I like the drill. Um, color guard, there's only four of you, but um, make sure that you are projecting and, and being confident. Okay, chest up and, and get your heads up and, and look like you're excited about what you're doing. Uh, that'll help your performance. Um, you're doing some of those technique things just fine. Um, it just doesn't look like you're enjoying yourself very much, okay? It looks like you're having fun. All right, good luck and um, best, best to you.